Hey there, Anna here from Mask Addict, and today I wanted to do a sheet mask, and it's unlike a lot of other sheet masks out there. If you're familiar with sheet masks, you're probably seeing the ones that are like a cotton or a gel type that's soaked with a uh, watery or sometimes creamy essence, and they're designed to deliver hydration, nourishment, uh, brightening to the skin. Today I wanted to use a mud or clay type sheet mask and I wanted to show you some that I have in my collection. So this is the Sephora's mud mask and this is $6 from Sephora. I just picked this one up from Target and it's the Peach Slices Piggies Charcoal Mud Mask and this is $3. And today we're going to use this one. It's the JJ Young Pore Charcoal Mud Sheet Mask, and this is $5 from CVS. So what's interesting about these is they look exactly like a sheet mask. Um, you'll see me apply it very soon. But instead of that watery or creamy essence, it's a mud or clay-based uh, mask infused into the mask sheet. So I personally like these a lot because I have dry skin, so I don't use like the tubs of, or tubes of clay or mud masks very often. These can cost a little bit more per use, but because I only use these once every month or so, maybe even less, depending on you know, how my skin is feeling, it uh, works out better for me because I'm not worried about that tub of uh, mask drying up on me or going bad on me. Let's get started. I'm gonna put on my hair Velcro. This I got from Daiso. I get a few questions about it, but it just kind of keeps your bangs back. And before I use these types of masks, and even this particular mask has instructions saying, to apply cream on sensitive areas so when it dries and you take it off then it doesn't irritate that area on top of that i like to recommend applying a thick cream on your eyebrows now these masks aren't designed to take hair off but because it does dry up there is a chance that you know it could take some of your precious eyebrow hairs away so i just like taking like a thick cream that I'm currently using. Oh, this might be too much actually. And just applying it over my eyebrows. So the mask won't dry up over my eyebrows, which is fine. Like I don't think there's any clarifying or cleaning that needs to be done in there. So I wanna make sure that this mask doesn't take any eyebrow hairs along with me. So that's one of my tried and true tips. So this is the first part of the mask or the top half of the mask and it's protected in two sheets. So there's this clear layer and a white layer and the instructions say you apply this side on the face. So I'm going to Remove the clear film. And I'll just kind of press this on as best as I can. And then I remove the stiff white film. And I still have to adjust a little bit. And because this is a clay mask designed to designed to clarify and clean out your pores, you really want this to adhere to your face. Because if it's not sticking, then it's not gonna clean your skin, right? Okay, so that's the top half. And then we have the second half, same thing. It's got two protective layers. 
and remove the side. Peel. Pretty easy peasy. I don't know how long it will take to dry. The instructions say 20 to 40 minutes, depending on your temperature and humidity. So I'm going to wait until this mask dries up. I can see that this is covering my nostrils a little bit. So if anyone has a nice long nose, this will be great for you. So the mask is nice and adhered to my face and I'm going to wait and I think in past experience it takes up to 20 to 40 minutes, maybe even longer for this mask to dry up and I will be back once that happens. All right, see you in a little bit. Okay. It's been 30 minutes and this mask is feeling pretty dry. You see here um, above my lips and my nose, it's pretty white and it's like hard, kind of like those Biore masks. Uh, but the rest of it here, it, it's not wet, but it's also not like bone dry. So I think this is a good time to remove this mask. Something I didn't mention before, Another thing I like about these types of masks rather than using the kind that you wash off is that the wash off and removal process is actually quite easy and doesn't leave a mess in your sink or shower. So you can see. Ooh. All right, so my eyebrows are still intact and I've got a little bit of mask residue all around my face, but it's nothing in comparison to, you know, if I used a wash off mask. So there it is. And so you see like where my eyebrows would have been, no eyebrow hairs were taken off. So that's excellent. So all I have to do is go and like use a wet washcloth and rinse all this off. Now, as for results, the my skin definitely feels really smooth and clean, like I use you know a regular clay mask. Uh, definitely not a hydrating mask at all. Um, this is supposed to be, let's see, it's for blackheads, whiteheads, uh, tightening. So anyway, uh, that is it for this type of clay mask. Um, let me know if you've tried this type of mask before. And so my number one tip is to like use a bit of cream on your eyebrows if you don't want your eyebrows to go away uh, or just to make the removal process a little easier and pain free. Like when I removed it, I, I didn't feel any tugging at all on my eyebrows. So that's always a nice thing. And if you're a guy and you have some facial hair, I would um, apply that there too. Or if you're a girl with some facial hair, I don't know. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.